others. This is the another report that has come in. Well, a complaint to Thiruvananthapuram, Kerala, who was sitting together, or rather a couple who were sitting together there at the garden attached to the Napier Museum in the city were accosted by two female police officers in a case of moral policing. Police found themselves facing an unusual situation here when a couple publicly <laughs> called them out for trying to enforce morality. The couple shot a live video of the local police harassing them and wrongly accusing them of being vulgar. Now, in fact, a day after singer Monali Thakur, who's currently seen on live singing reality show, recently lost her cool on a comment about her show dress on social media. The singer wrote a fitting reply to this disturbing and close-minded comment before blocking them. Well, she spoke about how this small thinking, small-mindedness and how pervert psychology of the troll was not her problem. Monali also questioned the definition of sabhyata and the lecture that was given to her. They used a mixed tone of anger and sass to make sure. But the message was clear. Yes, in fact, Monali shared screenshots of this conversation on Twitter, making it clear that she will not take hate and trolls silently. First of all, congratulations to Monali Thakur for giving a befitting reply to the gentleman. And uh, when uh, you're talking about this gentleman, or for that matter, all uh, those people, not just men, but also sometimes women, who try to preach the dress code to women, I think, first of all, they should understand that, I mean, uh, just as same as a man, a woman also has the liberty to, to, to dress the way she wants to, to eat with the, what she wants to, or to, to, to roam around wherever she wants to. I don't think so anybody has a right to infringe into somebody's privacy, one. The second thing is it shows again and depicts very clearly the, the mentality of people, sick mentality of people. Uh, let's get in further updates here. A very quick reminder to our viewers first, this is a live call-in segment. Uh, we're going to take in your views on these instances that have been reported. Our news editor, Meghna Dekha, getting us further inputs on a string of instances here. Meghna, on, on one end, of course, uh, a case of a couple being harassed by the police while they were spending time at a nearby museum there. It's a case of moral policing by the police. And the other, of course, of uh, the singer uh, being trolled on Twitter for wearing a particular kind of dress. And isn't it thrilling, Seher, to finally see the kind of fight back that we've isn't it thrilling, Seher, to finally see the kind of fight back that we've always expected from an empowered society such as ours, a democratic society such as ours. We've had the couple that you were mentioning in Kerala literally fighting back, saying that what's wrong in what we are doing? We are sitting and talking, what a vulgar, what obscene act have we committed? They've literally fought back, those cops. And on the other hand, Mulani Thakur, well, she has also fought back and she's replied on her uh, Twitter page to the trolls who had been trolling her about her short dress. She says, if there's a problem that you have with my short dress, essentially that's a problem that you have. That's not my problem. Now, although on her Twitter page, if you scroll up and down, you'll see that she's removed that page. In fact, she said, I request everyone not to give more importance to this. Life has much more to offer. Taking the post off. Having said that, she took off, removed that post. But right before she blocked uh, that troller of hers, she fought back in very harsh words. She said, it's a problem with your mentality, with your psychology, and it's not something that I ought to be worried about. The problem is with you and the way you see things and not the problem with my dress. So it's really, uh, really empowering to see this kind of a fight back coming in from different sections of the society, be it a couple in uh, Kerala or be it uh, this uh, uh, singer yeah. who's fought back in this manner. Absolutely uh, empowering indeed and of course setting an example to others too to raise their voice against uh, moral policing. In fact, stay on with us, uh, Meghna. We have of course our viewers now joining us. Remember it is a call-in segment. We're taking your calls live. Our numbers are flashing there on your screens. Kalpana Ravi, our first viewer is joining us from Mumbai. Kalpana, go ahead. Uh, good afternoon. I don't know. Suddenly we've become a very preachy nation. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a problem with everything in life. You really don't understand, you know. Uh, it is her body. It, she wanted to wear it. It's good. But I'm happy that she turned back and gave this man or whoever it was who gave her this advice a uh, reply back, befitting reply back. And uh, I mean, and what is uh, morality in public? I really don't understand. Now, who's going to define that morality? Okay. It may be one for me. It may be one for somebody else. Absolutely. And it may be one for the cops. But and I'm happy that the couple had the courage to come out and talk about it without sharing social backlash. Absolutely. In fact, the they ended up recording a video of the police there as well for the manner in which they were trying to uh, 
moral police the couple uh, when they were spending time together. Appreciate, appreciate you, ma'am, calling us in a detailed response there coming in from one of our viewers. Uh, Meghna, that's, that's the nature of response, the appreciation there where we heard one of our viewers say that it's, 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 uh, it's interesting also to see the fight back to this nature of policing seen uh, several such instances of moral policing and every time new sex has been at the forefront saying that it's unfair that uh, be it couples or be it anyone else who need to face harassment in the hands of self-appointed moral brigade they are the ones who are deciding what Indian values are what Indian traditions are why is it that you're subjected to this kind of regression in today's day and age but this is the first time say at least the one that I remember where we've had two such instances simultaneously which have come out where people have fought back the moral polices no longer are they ready to accept the, the moral policing which they have been facing all these years. And perhaps this is going to be a welcome change in our society. As several of our viewers who've been calling in, they all have been congratulating uh, Monali Thakur, saying that she's really shown the way. If you haven't done anything wrong, if you haven't done anything that has embarrassed your family or yourself, if you've uh, done something with utter, utmost dignity, it's important that you don't get trolled for it. Uh, you don't need to face the ire of anyone. This is a democracy. Everyone's got the right to do whatever they choose as long as they are not breaking any laws. And that's the important message which Monali Thakur manages to give out to each and every one in our country. Well, stay with us, uh, Meghna. In fact, uh, our viewers can continue to call in, but uh, we're getting some reactions also on this story. The NCP's Majid Memon is reacting. Let's go live across. There are other things which are important, and according to me, the most important reason why there is growth in the molestation and rape cases all over the country, not Delhi or any one place uh, alone, but this is because of the lack of fear in the minds of offenders. The offenders have lost uh, fear in the mind of the uh, uh, in the uh, criminal justice system, and uh, victims unfortunately are losing confidence. Uh, Meghna Deka is uh, still live with us. Uh, Meghna, of course, uh, you know what makes it different this time around is that uh, uh, the celebrity and the Ahmadmi concerned are speaking out, are heading back against the trolls or against the police who try and morally bully them. You know, we are seeing, of course. Uh, uh, a culture of pressurizing women and others on how to dress, how to behave, how to speak. But very often you don't get, you know, people speaking up. This is an example how you can speak up and hopefully get this menace to stop once and, once and for all. Well, absolutely. It's important that this fight back happens and this fight back needs to happen, not just from the women, but the entire society as well. Several of our very liberal viewers have called in and even men have called in saying that it's unfair the kind of trolling that Monali, for example, had to face or that couple across in Kerala had to face. So there are liberal sections within the society. Unfortunately, it's the lumpen elements whose voices become more vocal. But yes, you're absolutely right. It's important that we take a lesson out of this book, this entire instance which has happened that it's important that we fight back. At the end of it, let's not forget, the problem is with the very mindset of our society, the regressive, misogynistic mindset that our society displays from time and again, whether it is moral policing on the couples or whether be it uh, moral policing on women and what they ought to be wearing. And of course, if anything untoward happens, then the blame also comes on to the woman. So that kind of moral policing needs to end, which is why this story is very, very relevant. Absolutely. Meghna, uh, many thanks uh, for those updates, of course, putting in further perspective on uh, uh, how we're now witnessing a fight back uh, to that kind of moral policing.